In this video, I'd like to show you how to figure out how much work has been added during an adiabatic compression process. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to start out by finding the original conditions for your gas. Okay, so it looks like we are at a volume of about 2.8. 2.8. Meters cubed. We're at a pressure of a little over 150. We'll go 155 kPa. From those two values, and by using the formula PV equals nRT, we can find the temperature inside our chamber. The number of moles is 183. We find a temperature before the compression of 285 that's obviously in Kelvin we then use our kinetic energy equation for a gas and that formula says that one mole of particles at a certain temperature will have a kinetic energy given by 3 halves RT so we get a kinetic energy. Oh, don't forget to multiply that by the number of moles. And we'll get a kinetic energy for the entire chamber of 651 kilojoules. Okay, once we have our kinetic energy at the beginning, we'll compress our gas. And in this program, we compress the gas by just clicking on it. You can see us pushing the plunger inward. We are doing work. We are giving energy to the gas molecules. Since our chamber is insulated, no heat was able to get out. So all the work that we did turned into internal energy of the gas. So we estimate that the new volume is about 1.45. And that's meters cubed. The new pressure looks like we're about 475. That is kilopascals. And with that, we can find our new temperature and our new kinetic energy. So the new temperature is about 452 Kelvin. And our new kinetic energy is about 1,033 kilojoules. I would not want to put this into megajoules because I want to subtract. And since I already had kilojoules, it would make most sense to keep both of them in kilojoules. I get a change in kinetic energy for these particles equal to 382 kilojoules. Okay, so to test our answer, we will click on the end button. We don't need to put in our name right now. We're just testing to make sure we know what we're doing. We click on the submit button and you can see we did really well. We got really close to the actual value. Any errors were introduced in the estimation of pressure and volume. 